A Palo Alto gem that's been closed to outsiders for decades won't be rolling out the welcome mat anytime soon. KPI X 5s Maria Medina explains why the plan to open the park isn't all it seems. I believe it is illegal, it is unconstitutional for them to close the park. Retired Superior Court Judge LaDoris Cordell is putting the city of Palo Alto on notice. If they don't do the right thing by voting to open it, then we will see them in court. The threat comes as city council members voted against a year long pilot program that would open Foothills Park to non residents for the first time since the 60s. Five council members voted to move forward with the program, but with a list of conditions, essentially delaying any decision. They proposed a whole bunch of things, such as it's got to be revenue neutral, it should go to the voters in 2022. Mayor Adrian Fine and council member Allison Cormack were the only two who wanted to try the pilot program without conditions. It's inequitable. Right. Um, effectively, we're saying you can only enter Foothills Park if you're wealthy enough to live in Palo Alto. If you just open up the park, it'll turn out like a rustadero, overcrowded, overrun, abused, and ruined. Carlin Oto, a longtime resident of Palo Alto, believes it's not about discrimination; it's about preservation. If you bought something, you buy a car. You don't let the neighborhood use it. You use it. The data, and I've done looked at all of the data from the 70s on up uh, to know that. This park will never be overrun by people, any people. Um, it, it's been underused. Cordell, who's garnered the support of faith, local, and state leaders, says she'll continue fighting for what they believe is right. We have no right to be uh, exclusive. We should be inclusive. This is what we should be about here, not just in Palo Alto, but in this country. Maria, it's a park. So what happens if you're a non-resident of Palo Alto and you get caught inside this park? Well, Ken, it is actually a misdemeanor. So you are considered a criminal. And LaDoris Cordell says all these decisions made in the 60s were based on racism. Wow. All right, Maria Medina reporting live. Thank you, Maria.